that scorpion guy here. Um, my voice is gone. I've been sick and I'm recovering, but uh, what we have here is Arizona bark scorpions. I found four of them. There's one there um, on a on a collecting excursion with my friend. It's that time of year where they're out and in residential areas. Um, so he's under here, this guy. You can see him, he's probably on the underside. There he is. Real small ones. And then they, they seem to have a thing for the underside. This one's a little bigger. And then, let's see, this one's tricky. Is he in there? Yes, he is. Um... So yeah, these are the new additions, these bark scorpions. Um, care, I'm gonna go over care. Lots of people keep them uh, communal, and I do not think that's a good idea, because one of them is far smaller than the other ones, and there's big size differences between all of them. I just think, you know, they might get cannibalistic and all that. They tend to eat pinhead crickets. I mean, that's the easiest thing to feed them. Um, let's see. Uh, humidity. Uh, moderate temperature, not quite so desert. Um, these guys can be in, in a range of like 20 to 30. Uh, water, I don't find it necessary with any scorpion. Um, I have them just in coconut, or uh, not in coconut sand, walnut husk sand, just ground up, because it's not, it doesn't get everywhere, it's easy to clean up, and I have some bark and rocks that's all been boiled, that's a piece of bark, and then here is uh, a koya cactus that's been dried out, they like to hide in those, and then just rocks, this has all been boiled, rocks, and that's half of a, a log. So this is this is their setups. These are just little critter keepers. Like these. Um, that's about it. Yep. Uh, see you guys later.